name's Brian Moulding and I'm here today to talk about clog making. Clogs have been made in Britain for a few hundred years. This style is a Welsh slipper. They're perhaps 150 years old. It's made of alder and it's got irons on. Today I'm going to start on making a clog base. This is an alder, but we have a piece of sycamore here. Alder used to be worked once it had dried or part dried, whereas sycamore we work completely just freshly cut, which this one is. What we want is a very round piece of sycamore, one that hasn't got a lot of stresses and strains in it. This has got a slight cut, crack in that direction, so we will cleave it that way to follow that line. Um, a lovely piece of wood. Uh, that's one plug and that's the other. Um, I'll leave that for now. Now I'm going to take take some of the width off there, the same way. And that's enough with the throw. This is a template drawn around a foot, which I'm going to draw onto here. But first I'm going to flatten the plane. This knife is a, a stock knife or a blocker, and it was specifically made for clog making by a firm. This one is Sydney Carter. Most of them are Henry Carter. Um, and they made most of the stock knives used anywhere in Britain. It's about 150 years old. We work on the block. Um, in a little pocket there to hold it firm. The stock knife hooks onto the ring here and works downwards to cut through the, the wood. You've got a lot of leverage and you stand up against the bench and you're ready to go. I'm ready now to draw on the shape of the, the clog and start to work the edges down to that. This is just individual to a particular person taking an outline of the foot and, and an extra bit around the edge. I try to get up to the far end of the knife where I've got the most leverage when I'm cutting across the grain. You can see how well the sycamore cuts when it's green. See, we're getting quite close in some parts. You just have to take your time because you don't want to go beyond that line. This is a Jeremy Atkinson clog base. He kindly gave that to me. Um, and I'm going to use that just to cut the profile uh, onto the log because we can we can remove this and uh, the top as well uh, to start to get closer to the clog shape. I'm going to take off this part of the the block which will create the cast of the clog which is quite important for the angles when you're walking.
It's not finished, but I'm just going to cut out the heel. The size and shape of the heel is a lot of personal preference. Um, it wants to slightly angle out that way, the, the front of the heel. And at the same time, I shall draw on the points of contact, the flat piece of the clog that will be in contact at the ground at the front of the clog. So it's going to be perhaps there and there. So this will be removed and then this here, uh, leaving the heel, the point of contact, and then the slope at the front of the clog. I'm going to mark on uh, the depth. And the shape, a nice curve from there to there. And I'll stop there and I'll start to work on the front half of the clog. That's now got quite a nice roll to it and it should sort of balance at that point. That's as much as I'm going to do with the base at the moment. I'm going to start working again on the top of the clog. We've now got a rough outline of the clog. Next, I'm gonna hollow out the clog to suit the shape of your foot. Um, and to do that, I need to mark on the gripper line, which will be not cut, because that is the joint where the leather will be nailed onto the clog all round. To put the gripper line in, I just use my pencil and gauge it, just to give me about that much all round. And again on the side wall. Uh, now I shall remove, I shall hollow with uh, another tool, the hollower, hollow out the sole and afterwards I shall put the gripper on for attaching the leather. This is the gripper. Again, this is, this is Henry Carter, this one. It's a compound shape. It's not a smooth curve. Um, it's tricky to, to cut out the shape for the sole of a foot. So this gives you all the angles that you need to do that.
when you're cutting the hollow out, it's designed to fit the, the shoe last. This one's too small, but you can see how that sits on there. And then the leather is stretched over and nailed on. First of all, I'm going to chamfer the edges with a stock knife. And uh, I'm just going to put the gripper in now. So this is the third clog knife. This is the gripper. It's a little V-chisel, um, which is just going to take a, a right angle of wood, nearly right angle, out there, ready for the leather to be nailed on. You wouldn't want to go any further than this. You probably wouldn't go this far because you've got to dry this piece of wood now. Because it's sycamore, it's been worked wet. I put that in the microwave, wrapped in cloth. I can have that dry in a day, and then we can go on to the leather work. So that's how to um, rough out a, a sycamore clog base. Thanks for watching.